today we would talk a little bit about pasture raisin pigs. I've had quite a few questions brought up since the last video we did just giving a farm tour. First I'll start off by the breed. These two pigs, they're both females. They're a black red Waddle X Berkshire cross. They're bred for pasture raising. I've had them five months almost to the day. Um, they're going to the butcher two more weeks, which will be a little bittersweet. Been getting excited to, we'll be excited to get all the meat we're gonna get. The nice thing about pigs is you get quite a few different cuts of meat. You get bacon, pork chops, roast, hams. The front shoulder you can either smoke for a ham or you can keep it for a roast. You get the bacon, you get plenty of sausage. There's plenty of few different cuts. You can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with all of it. I guess since she's playing with the scoop, I had a few questions about feeding them. And what I do, I feed them in the morning. I give them three scoops of grain. This scoop is just a scoop I made out of a one gallon jug, out of like a windshield washer jug. Um, so I don't know how much really. It's three scoops of this in the morning. When I'm working, I don't let them out into the pasture during the day. On the weekends I do. So I feed them, I'll let them out if I'm home. If not, they stay in their pen. I'll show you that pen in a few minutes. When I come home from work, I let them out of the pen and they get to come down and graze and eat in the pasture. I don't feed them until night when they go back in the pen. I want them to be hungry and I want them to eat the grass, the roots, the bugs, and all the brush for me. They're working out here. This area right here, I had a video showing you what it looked like before. If I remember, I'll put a little side-by-side -side view. Between seven and eight, they're back in the pen. They're ready to be back in the pen. They go up on their own. I feed them three more scoops of grain. So they get plenty of food. And then right now they're eating apples. We have plenty of apple trees on the, on the property. So any apples that fall, I just go ahead and pick them up whenever I have them and give them to the pigs. They're pretty much eating consistently and that's what you want. You want them to grow and gain weight. They are omnivores, so they're gonna eat everything. They're gonna eat meat, because in nature they're eating bugs, grubs. They eat mice, chickens, whatever. So you can feed them meat. We feed them food scraps. We don't want to feed them anything we wouldn't want to eat ourselves because these are going to be our food. So in return, we'll be eating what we feed them. That's one thing I try to keep in mind. Hey girls. So I just got a gate. It's four feet wide. I did a video on the pen. Just pan around. So it's just cattle panel all the way around. Each cattle panel is 16 feet long, except for where the door opening is. That's 12 feet and plus four for the door. So it's just a 16 by 16 squared pen. I use T-posts to connect the cattle panel. And then on the inside, I went around and I put electric feds. Put it at like shin high and knee high. You gotta remember a pig, they're low to the ground and they're always they're kind of looking down. They don't see up, they see it from like your knee down. So when you're putting the fence up, you don't gotta worry about it being high, you just keep it low. They touch it with their nose, where they're really gonna feel it and they're gonna learn. I put the electric fence in here to train them to electric fence before I let them out in the pasture. It's just an IBC tote with a hole cut out of it and I put hay in there for them. So this right here is their waterer. I just, it's a plastic 55 gallon drum, it's food grade. It wasn't anything toxic in this one. Um, you can go online, you can buy a hog nippler, which I have right here, and you just drill a hole and you screw the nippler in it. I actually got a video, I'll link it here, here, or here, wherever you see it, you can pop up and watch it. It's pretty neat and it works really good. The pigs love drinking out of this water. Oh, do you want to come in? I'm almost done. I'll let you in in a minute. So I also think pigs are kind of as easy if not easier than chickens to do. Yeah. Hold on, kid. Squeeze your legs together. Mm. It's like the ball that I was riding at the fair. Come on, Wallace. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a good slide. Mm. 
they might dig up the area and make a mess, but you only have them for six months. Chickens, you get meat and eggs from them. Pigs, so you get bacon, sausage, ham, pork, roasts from them. And you get the lard. The lard's really good if you um, render it down. You can make lard for baking with, cooking with. You can use it to make soap. It's all really healthy for you, especially if it's a pasture-raised pig. So I'm really looking forward to getting the lard back from them this time. I use this one. I've had really good luck with it. I don't know if it's the best or not out there. This is what they had at Tractor Supply. Um, it's just the, I don't even know how you say it, what word that is, 25 mile range, low independence, one joule, DC powered. And I just keep two car batteries. When one of them dies, the other one's in the house on the uh, trickle charger charging up and I just swap them out. When I first hooked up the fence, I wasn't getting that big of a shock from it. So I had one ground in. I ended up running a second ground rod. If you guys want to stay up to date with us, go over to Lumna Acres on Instagram. I've been posting daily photos over there. Hopefully soon we'll be doing daily uploads on YouTube. Just haven't had the time to do that. So I'm posting weekly to YouTube, usually on Saturdays, Friday night or Saturday night. And if you want more of Lumna Acres, leave comments below and go on over to Instagram and see our daily photos. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.